Hey guys, it's B Scott here for another review. Today I'm reviewing my trip to the Royal Canadian Ex I mean, sorry, the Canadian National Exhibition. Fuck, I got that totally wrong. AKA the CNE, which takes place at the CN. I mean, the Exhibition Place grounds in Toronto. I don't even know what I'm saying. I'm, my fucking brain is all over the place. But you know me, that's ADHD for you. Anyway, so I've been going to this since I was a kid. I usually went with my family, but then I started to go with my best friend Brady. That's actually kind of how we actually met is because like we met in um, elementary school and we got talking and I'm like, so what kind of things do you like? And then he's like, I like going to the X and I'm like, me too. And honestly, we never really went for many years. And then a few years ago, my, my parents just started to grow out of it. So I just started going with him, even though I don't, we don't do rides no more. Um, it's still kind of fun to go, even though honestly now now that I'm older, I see through a lot of the a lot of the illusions that they have, if you know what I mean. Like, it's very overpriced, it's very overrated, and it's not as good as it used to be. You know, the grounds have been have been uh, redeveloped, a lot of them. Hotel X, and even uh, when I was working there years ago, yes, I worked I worked at the C and E. I think 2014, 15. I was like 21 at the time, very very young. And I also looked very, very good back then. <laughs> but anyways, um, I I'm trying to relive my glory days. Anyways, um, I had heard rumors from some of the staff that uh, uh, the city was trying to sell the land to build condos. And, unfor and fortunately, that hasn't happened yet. And, you know, the X is still happening. Although, I don't know for how much longer, because as you know, they almost shut down during COVID because they lost a lot of money. And this year, you can definitely tell that they cut back a, a wee bit. So we uh, so so to get into the CNE, it's twenty six dollars for a general admission. I don't know how much an all day ride passes. Parking's like thirty six bucks. I don't recommend driving. Take the GO train or take TTC. I took the GO train from Danforth. That's how I usually get downtown. It's just so much more um, convenient. I love taking the GO train because I hate the TTC because there's so many people like excuse me, excuse me. It's like fuck off. I fucking hate people that are like that. I like to get a seat, I like relaxing, I don't like standing up and people butting and touching me and shit, cause like it fucking bothers me, you know what I mean? But you know, anyways, um, the food building this year, there's pretty good food. I tried the Tim Hortons birthday poutine thing, Timbit poutine. They've had it before, but apparently it's new, but I've had it before, I don't know, so I tried it. There is a food review for that on the Brandon and Brady Productions page, which dropped today at noon. I just haven't been promoting it because I've been out all day. And uh, yeah, I tried that. I also got a Franz milkshake. Even those aren't as good because even the last time I went in 2019, if you go on the Midway, they used to have like a little stand and like you could get these crazy milkshakes. And now it's like, uh, 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 you can get four fucking flavors and that's it. It's like, seriously. But um, I had that. Food wise, what did I have to eat? Fuck, I don't even remember. I'm fucking getting old. It was just yesterday. I had for dinner. Fuck, what did I have for dinner? Oh, I went to Maggie's, which is like a hot dog place. And I got, what, what did I get? I think it was like something chili cheese, but it was like a poutine. And it was okay, but I didn't really finish it. I don't know why. Um, Oh, their ATMs are fucking ridiculous. You can only take out 50s, and it's a $4 service fee. I'm like, really? 50? You can only take out 50s? Like, fuck off. So I had to take out 100. And I'm just like, okay, next time I go to the X, which I am probably going next week, I'm going to my bank. I ain't using a fucking ATM at the X. Too much money. So we did that. Um, we, oh yeah. Time for another rant. So, usually the X has a show every year in the Coca Cola Coliseum. Usually it's a really good show and it's an ice skating show. This year it was Navira or Nav Navia and what the fuck was it called? Navia and the Future or something. I don't even know what it was called. It was some stupid fucking show. Um, and it was about this girl with a drone and it was just really bad. Um, they said it was a high tech show. Yes, okay, the graphics were okay, but it was just very slow and very juvenile and in fact a, a people people left before it ended and, and even one person booed that's a little bit embarrassing and also 
when they tried to interact with the crowd, um, nobody interacted. Sorry, Navira and the North Star, it was called, or something like that. Navia and the North Star. I don't even remember because it was such a bad show. And honestly, it was horrible. I'd probably give it a 1 out of 10. C&E, you really need to go back to the ice skating show or do something else. Because honestly, this was very juvenile. No one even interacted. You know, they said clap and barely anyone did. You had someone booing. You had people walking out. Apparently, the show was supposed to be an hour. Honestly, if it was an hour, I would have walked out. It was that bad. It, honestly, uh, Brady and I were watching this. It was torture. We're like, holy fuck, this is boring. Thank God it was only half an hour, honestly, because I was just there. I'm like, oh, okay, like this is really fucking boring. The graphics were okay, but just it was just a terrible storyline, and just and and just and just I wasn't feeling the energy. It was very like, I don't know, it was just very dull, you know, like I don't know. You really need to step up your fucking entertainment C and E, because that's garbage. I get we went through COVID. I get you don't have money, but come on. Like, that's going to make you lose your business right there. Maybe you could have got someone from 1013 to perform. Or Black Monsters. You could have given me a call. Hi. You could have given me a call. Uh, we could have had 1013 perform. We could have had Black Monsters perform. Maybe next year. Just saying. Call me. YouTube. You know. Uh, 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 message me. <laughs> Anyways, um, so what did I do after that? Oh yeah, the most exciting part of my night, I, w I finally went on the CNE Ghost Walk. I've heard about it. It was really good. So basically, they walk you around haunted places, but you don't get to go in them, unfortunately. Besides the Horse Palace, but I just love to listen to the stories. And you know me, I I love ghost hunting. I've seen ghosts. I I fucking live near a cemetery. I go in it like, well, I haven't been in it lately, but. I've been in it a few times, and yeah, it's haunted, and I, and and apparently there's a ghost dog and shit, so yeah, I think I've seen it. But anyways, um, Ghost Walk, I'd give about a nine out of ten. Um, that's pretty much all we did. We went shopping. It was just pretty much the same old C and E, honestly, folks. You're not missing much. I'm only going back next week because um one of my closest friends wants to go, and I've never been with him, and I'm I'm being a good friend, and I'm going with him. But uh, besides that, I wouldn't go again, honestly. Well, honestly, I might go back next year because it's uh, because it's tradition. But I am considering not going back because it was that bad. Um, what else? Fuck, I was just gonna say something too. Um, fuck. Sorry. I know this is really bad. Um, they do do a drone show at ten forty-five at night, but we didn't stay for it because it was so boring, and also my phone died. So. I'm just like, you know what? I can't film it. I'm just going to go home. And yeah, so we went home. Um, for anyone that likes the casino, I did go. Um, they do have uh, slot machines now. But uh, when you go into the casino, their ATMs are even worse. They only um, dispense $100 bills. Because I went with my dad on Sunday uh, when we went to the concert. And he's like, are you fucking kidding me? $100 bills? I'm like, dad, you're not actually going to do that. He's like, and he actually did. And then it's fucking thirteen dollars for a beer. I'm like, Dad, you're actually gonna pay that? He's like, Yeah, I'm gonna pay that. I'm like, Okay, I I don't want one. And then he tried to play the roulette table, and no one leaves the roulette table because they're all fucking addicted to the roulette. So then actually, like, we're just like, Okay, I think it's time we go, going out of the concert. And he's like, Yeah, I think so too. <laughs> so yeah, so that's what happened with that. Um, that's pretty much it. So for this year's CNE, in general, I'm giving it a three out of ten. Except for the ghost walk. That, I'm probably going to give a 9 out of 10. Because honestly, folks, it's the same old shit. You're not missing much. Hopefully, the 2023 CNE is a lot better. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed my review. Comment down um, below what your thoughts are of the CNE and if you're planning on going this year. Peace out.